What is going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to get a controller to work in DOSBox. Now, the, the games that came out back in the days of DOS, they may have limited joystick support, hell, even limited mouse support in most games. Uh, but with a little bit of tweaking and just using the keyboard settings within the game, the games are still fully playable for the most part. Um, we're just going to use a program to emulate keyboard presses on your controller. Now, the program I've chosen to use here is Joy2Key. I'll put a link in the description to uh, just to download where I found this. Uh, but anyway, it it is supposedly some sort of like paid or, you know, something they would encourage you to donate to uh, to use. So that may be a problem later. But as of installing it a few weeks ago and playing around with it, it seems to work just fine without registering anything. So anyway, go ahead and start the program. Uh, I do not have a controller plugged in right now, so we'll do that. When you start it, you're not going to see anything pop up. Uh, you might the first time. Uh, it, it minimizes it to the tray, so I'm going to open up this tray here. Uh, it shows Joy to Key right there. Double click on that or click once on it. Um, and you can see that it's just got a profile, and I've made this profile. So we're going to make another one uh, just so it's just so it looks beautiful. Uh, Doom 1, you're going to have to make probably a new profile for every game you want to play. Um, some of them might cross over like Doom. It's going to cross over to Doom 2. Um, it might even work okay for like Duke Nukem if you want to like rebind the keys just for that. All right, now the first thing you're going to need to do, probably before you even start this program, is uh, plug your controller and make sure it works. Type controller into your search bar there, or you know if you need to go to the control panel, it's going to be right there as well. Um, and I don't have one plugged in. I got a little crappy GameStop controller. I'm going to go ahead and plug that little guy in and wait for it to do its thing. Detect it. There it is. Crappy gamepad. Yeah, I know, right? What is that? Double click on that. Just make sure everything works on it. Your axes work. Your your buttons work. Everything. Make sure it all works. Make sure D-pad works. That's what that point of view hat is. And this is just important to make sure the controller is plugged in and working. So click OK. You can get rid of that. Now, to assign these keys within this program, when you hit a button on the controller, you're going to see it light up in yellow. That's the button that you're using. So you got your joystick, which is going to be bound to just a normal key, obviously. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, the Doom game. Open up DOS, DOS box, DOS box again. We're going to mount it. Mount C colon slash Doom. Oh my God, I can't type today, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go C and then uh, DIR. When you type in directory, it's going to show you the directory. You're looking for any sort of setup file or, you know, a data file, an executable. So you're looking at setup here. Uh, this U1, U194, it's not it. It's going to be setup, usually in most DOS games. So just type in setup so that you already have this folder mounted. So I'm going to go ahead here and make sure under controller type, you have keyboard only selected. Or you could probably do keyboard and mouse as well, but I just do keyboard only. Uh, and then you're going to need to go to the controller configuration. This will tell you the buttons you need to bind. Now we're going to go back to keyboard. And now we're going to bring over Joy2Key. And we're just going to set everything up, guys. Uh, forward, I want that to be the left joystick up arrow. So there's a left joystick. Stick one up arrow. I'm just going to go ahead and push it up here. That's that one. And I'm going to bind that to up. So you double click on that. And on your keyboard, just hit the up key. Uh, the up arrow. Just matching this guy. Uh, backward as well. That's going to be stick one. So you're going to double click on that. And make that the back arrow. Okay. Now, in modern games, uh, you would actually strafe with that, that controller uh, joystick as well. So my strafe left is comma, and the strafe right is period. So left is going to be this guy. That's going to be comma. Hit OK. Right is going to be this guy. So you're going to hit that. Hit OK. So that's... I'm not, oh, right. You mean hit period. You dingus. You just told people what you wanted to do. All right. And then you're going to use uh, joystick 2. To actually like turn your controller like left and right, turn your character like pivot him. So you're gonna go ahead and uh, hit the left joystick on there. Hit that little fella, arrow left because that's what it is on here. See, it's turn left. We want that to be uh, that little fella, and then stick two would be turn right, and we want to bind this to this little fella right here, so with the right arrow as well. Now we're gonna need to do uh, like a shoot, which is gonna be our our fire button. So that's going to be, I'm going to pull the right trigger just like you would in any other game. And that's going to be all the way down here, button 12. Button 12 on here is going to be, by default, the fire key is control. So just hit control, hit OK, you're good to go. I'm, I'm sure you see the pattern here. Um, the speed on, I believe most games use the uh, the right uh, the right stick, uh, press in the button to do that. 
or even the left one, I guess. I'm going to use the right stick. That's going to be button 10. So we're going to make that uh, right shift to uh, speed or run through the game. That turns everything up, makes it pretty quick. Oh, uh, what am I missing here? I'm missing use key, space. So I'm going to go ahead and make that the A button on the controller. So I'm going to hit the A button. That's button 1. And we're going to make that the space bar. So I'm going to hit OK. And that should be all I need, guys. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of here. Exit. Save settings and run Doom. And it should work just fine right out the gate. Let the game start up. And then you can use, now you can use your controller. You can hear it here that I'm using it. New game. And you're not going to be able to, like, push the A button to do that. So maybe you want to bind enter to something. Um, yeah, you're probably going to find enter to something. So anyway, you can go ahead and do that. Hit new game. Knee deep in the dead. Hurt me plenty. Because why not? And now I'm using the controller to move around. And it's super, super fluid. Sorry for no game audio. I uh, probably didn't enable the sound card. But anyway, guys, uh, that, that was basically how to set this guy up. This worked for any DOS game. Hell, any game. Uh, but when you're not playing the game itself, you can probably want to bind like escape to the, the start key and all that. But that's you get the idea of how to do all that. Hit Y to quit to DOS. So let me go ahead and get out of here. Now, when you're not playing a DOS-based game or you don't want to be using this uh, Joy to Key program, you're going to want to go ahead and probably just, just disable it. So go down here into your taskbar, right-click, and terminate Joy 2 Key. Just get rid of it. Because if that thing's running in the background, it could interfere with another game or another control scheme you have set up. And close that before you start the other game. Like if you're using this for, I don't know, something terrible like CSGO or PUBG, you're not going to want to be uh, screwing around with trying to mess with those controls and remap them. And then forget to start that program. It's just not a good idea. Well, guys, this was pretty short and sweet, but this was easy. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any ways, uh, suggestions for videos even, uh, go ahead and put that in the comment box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.